Bloody give up. Hi Aries, welcome to Kiwis and Tarot. My name is Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. Uh, thank you so much for joining me guys. This is your um, bi-weekly general reading from the dates of the 19th of June to the 3rd of July. I'm going to pull six cards initially. The first three are going to be for this week between the 19th and 26th and the second three are going to be between the 27th and the 3rd of July. Okay, um, there seems to be a theme of um making new new beginnings you know making being decisive and um making choices so it, let's see if, if you have that um energy as well for you oh yeah, they're ready so the first card for you is the queen of pentacles just check that this, you can see these yeah uh queen of pentacles and we've got the seven of cups and the star card, excellent, that's for this week. And then in the for next week, I'll just put those there so I don't distract myself. There we go. This card wants to clarify the Queen of Pentacles. So I'm gonna put that there for now. Don't know what it is, as does that one. They want to clarify, oh, they want to go with the Queen of Pentacles. So we'll look at the we'll look at the cards first and then we will talk about them. So Aries, this is your first card. So this is this week. This is how some of you should be feeling. What a lovely thing to feel. You know, the um Queen of Pentacles is um is a really lovely card. She's a she's a nurturer. She's related to the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But some of you could just be feeling very grounded uh, this week. This could be you, you could be feel you could be dealing with an earth sign, but you could just be feeling really grounded. Um Aries. You know, this is this is the epitome of putting the work in to manifest and to nurture and to build yeah this is where we want to we want to you're going to put the effort into your job or to your relationship or to your um family or to your car or whatever it is you're going to put the effort into that or to making money you're going to put your all your effort and all your love into or supporting someone or something else you know and you're going to make sure that your input helps this thing grow it could be it could also be related to a child as well to, to pregnancy and um, so some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant um, or that your partner's pregnant um and uh, which is obviously a beautiful thing so this is this is this is this energy it's such a really nice grounded energy and for some reason these cards wanted to come out so i have to use them they wanted to clarify this card so we've got these are the cards that came out so first of all we've got the full card so it's suggestive of a new beginning so some of you could be starting a new job maybe something um, maybe a new business of your own maybe you could be growing something of your own and um, a new start a new business when we have the full card the fool has been to the depths the fool has already put in a lot of work before you get to this point before the fool feels ready to, to take a leap of faith and to step off and start again um the 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 fool has already been through a huge amount of trauma and um distress and strain to get here so some of you could have been you know this this year could have been a hard one for you aries you know you could have you could have done a lot of work on yourself you could have done a lot of uh, work as in studying work to better yourself um better yourself um or your prospects um but you know you get what i'm saying yeah so this this the, the fool's been been there man they've been there so this is um they've already been there man so the fool is so the fool is um is now coming up for uh and moving towards something new so it could be as i said for children if, you, if some of you some of you could be finding out you're pregnant for the first time you've never been pregnant before um some of you could be it could be a new start for you could have been something that was hot you know you could have found it difficult to get pregnant it could have been a challenge um and and you you made it okay um again this is to clarify the the king the the queen of pentacles so we've got the 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 knight of cups so it could be someone coming towards you offering you something so again it could be pregnancy um you know you could be finding out you're pregnant or you could be receiving an apology or someone could be telling you that they love you you know you could be in a different place or you could be wanting to to start a new job you know a new career a new new um a new business um for yourself set up your own business and um, we've got the ace of swords here which is uh, ace is of earth, earth energy so related to the earth signs gemini Le gemini libra aquarius um but it's also related to, commu to communication and it could be you know cutting communication it's direct either way someone could be coming to you um speaking directly and speaking speaking very directly to to you 
you know your focus though is somewhere else so whether this is someone maybe from your past who's who wants to come in who wants to offer you an apology you know you, you know you may might have been a breakup someone wants to come forward and offer you an apology speak truthfully to you tell you you know this is the situation but you are focused on something else entirely um it seems to be that there's, there's there's energy coming in from a past situation for you for some of you um and the person or the thing that's coming back into your life that what that, that's coming back into your life this week that's nudging their way back into your life this week um is coming with all the best intentions that they, they really want to come and start afresh with you and start anew with you it's just that your focus isn't ne necessarily on the, the them now again this this card that, that idea is supported by the seven of cups here you know seven of cups is um the fog the fog card you know i call it fog you know you can't see it's a blessing to, to not be able to see sometimes to, to have to slow down with our decision making it's a blessing sometimes but when we have the the fog card you know the seven of of of, of cups it's like we can't even we don't even know where to begin to make a decision we don't even realize we don't even know how many how many different choices we have we don't even we can't even start thinking about anything that's what this card feels like so it's quite challenging so for you you're staying focused on your coin whatever your coin is whether it's your your baby your business your job your family whatever your coin is you're staying focused on that because there's stuff coming in this week and it might have already come in today or tomorrow tuesday or wednesday monday or tuesday it, it, it might come in and um it's conf it, it, it throws you into this sort of confusion, this 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 way of not knowing. You know, the universe is, is saying to you, do you know what? This energy is, you know, what's happening now around you? And it feels like it is nudging in. It feels like you you know you're in your element. You you're very settled and 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 you've been you've been doing well. You've been going through healing. You've been you've been bettering yourself. You get to the Queen of Pentacles stage, and then all of a sudden, someone from your past comes back you know, an old boss or an old boyfriend or an old girlfriend or whatever, your ex-wife or whatever, and it just throws you off. It just kind of throws you off. You kind of just a bit, you just kind of lose yourself a little bit. You're kind of like a bit confused. But this is a good, this is a, a lesson. It's a karmic lesson that's coming through. And it's one that you are ready for. It's one that you are ready for. Um, The star card um, is related to um healing. <clears throat> excuse me it's related to healing uh, physical and emotional healing as well so and spiritual healing so some of you could have been physically injured or, or whatever but it's it's really related to uh the emotional healing as well uh, and spiritual healing so this is actually, actually suggesting that you have been doing the work some of you have been have been spending that time i've been spending this year this year has been last year in 2017 2018 have been quite challenging years the energy has been has been very un, unrelenting you know it, it, it's not sort of slowed down to let us catch our breath we just have been from one lesson to the next lesson to the next lesson to the next lesson and things have been coming thick and fast at us and at you aries especially and um it's funny because you're so connected to the earth signs it's strange um I don't, I need to read, I've got all my astrology books downstairs, I need to do some more reading on them. Um, but your energy is actually quite related to the earth signs at the moment for some reason. You know, maybe it's a cycle, it's obviously because of the cycles. Um, it's obviously because of the, the ast astrological cycles, but I'm not really up to date with them at the moment. But anyway, um, it's a card of healing anyway. So whatever is to come this week, whatever's whoever's nudging the way back in and throwing up this confusion for you, this is what is meant to happen. This is the next stage that you, you, you're going toward. This is where you're meant to be at. I hope these three are good. This is the next three for um, the 27th to the... Tw 27th to the 3rd, okay? So we've got the Hierophant, we've got the 6th of Swords, which is one of my favourite cards now, actually, and the 7 of Wands. Okay, so, you know, it's funny, I've been watching The Handmaid's Tale, I was very ill last week, so I watched Dexter box sets, I watched about three, four series of Dexter, and then I've, I've got onto The Handmaid's Tale, so I've watched the first series, and I'm on the second series now, and and it's funny, I was doing someone else's, I mean, I think it was an Earth sign, I can't remember though. And the the red really stands out to me for some reason. And, you know, the Hierophant is a card of tr traditions, traditional values. You know, this used to be called the Pope, this card, as in Pope, P-O-P-E, Pope. You know, you know the Pope. Anyway, so um, 
it's about you know tradition and, and morality and and rules and society and structures and the things that we're used to the things that we take for granted in society but it's not it's not just it's not just them being there it's about you sort of living your life in that way as in very morally or um you know you 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 know you do what's righteous not necessarily what's right but what's righteous i'm not going to judge i'm not going to say what's right and what's righteous what i mean oh what i mean by that is it's like oh i can't use that as an example it's like i don't know they say charity big charity begins at home but even if they say that, you still want to give to other people because you still want other people to like, you know, even if, yeah, you might, you might not be skinned, but like if you've got no money, but you're walking through town and someone's, you know, they're begging, whatever, and you've, you, you know, yeah, you've got a fiver, it's not out, but you might give them, you might give them, that person a pound, excuse me, because you're like, well, you know, that's being righteous, you know, because really, the universe, is, you've got to look after you. The universe looks after you, but you've got to look after you. You know what I mean? And maybe there's a move, maybe there's a, you're moving away from this. You know, some of you might be choosing to get a divorce. Some of you might be choosing to get a divorce. But um, Hierophant obviously represents marriages, commitments, mortgages, um, official sort of contracts, things like that. Um but it's very, but it's very, rigid, it's very rigid having those sorts of, living by those sorts of ideals, now, I'm not, not, not talking in, in religious, in a religious sense, religiously, believe what you want to believe religiously, what I'm saying is like, for example, you know, some some hierophant rules, for example, are education is important, and um, I mean I'm a, a teacher of ten years, an English teacher of ten years or eleven years, so I'm leaving it there. I'm just saying one of the rules that's righteous and moral is education is important, and um. You know, when you get a cert to a certain age, you should get married and you should have children. And these are things that we should do. Now, it doesn't mean that we have to do them. It doesn't mean that everyone chooses to do them. But what it, what it, what it means is that there are things that we... There are rules and structures that we live by, that we... That we take as... That we take as, as being right. Like, of course it's right to give to charity. And of course it's right to, like you know, get an education. Like, of course, you, you, you know, you, you, excuse me, it's a bit noisy outside. Um, whatever, you know, it's, of course it's nice to be, it's, you know, we, there's these things that we, that we do, you know, and I don't know, some of people are realising that those things, this happened, I've had another reading like this, some people are realising that those things, these structures that, that you live by, that you've been living by, you know, the sensible leg, getting to work on time every single day, going to work, never having a day off, you know, um, doing what you're meant to do. Some of you are going to be moving away from that and you're making a very balanced decision to move away from it. And some of you are moving towards your passions and you're standing up for what it is you want. And I love this because it's, as I said, I've been watching The Handmaid's Tale. If I, I think I said this in your reading. That, um, and... I don't know if you've watched it um, or if you've read the book um, by Atwood, Margaret Atwood. I don't know if you've... But anyway. Um, and that's a dystopian society. So that society that the handmaids live in is is an alternative reality, okay? It's not what we have in this, this lifetime. But Atwood makes a point in that about, you know, it seems dystopian, but it's normal. It's normal for them to, you know, to be handmaids and to be, you know, made to have children because it's for the best for the world. You know, the world will end if people don't have children. And that's the sensible, righteous thing to do. But some of you are moving away from these sensible, righteous things to do. And you're saying, do you know what? I have got to look after me. And you're doing it in a balanced way. You're not... 
it's a six of six of swords so six is a, a, a commitment a, a balance okay so and you're standing up for what it is you believe in and you should be standing your ground and um, this this next couple of weeks so whatever it is whether it be in a, whether it be in a relationship or whether it be a um a job whether it be um moving away from something you are moving away from the i think some of you are moving away from the 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 things that have the structures of society the things that the structures of your life the structures of your life you know so all your friends think that you know you are nobody if you don't have a Fendi bag. I don't even know if any whatever. You know what I'm saying though. And you're like, and that's your gospel in your little world, if you will, in your world of your friends and your family, whatever. And you're rejecting that, and you're moving away from it. Saying, Do you know what? It's bullshit. Like Fendi bags aren't the, the bit. You, you what? Well, whatever. You know what? You get my point. Basically, what I'm saying is, some of you are moving away from the structures, the structures that you've had in your life. You're moving away from them, and you're not doing it in a in a reckless way. We've got five, six, seven. These you're taking steps to move away, and you're being practical, and you are realizing that that if you don't do this, if you don't stand up for yourself, then no one's going to stand up for you. In whatever in whatever way that is, whether it be relationship, whether it be work, whether it be um family whatever you know you're starting to realize that this next couple of weeks that you are the person in control of your life and you've got to go toward the things that you want regardless of what other people think and regardless of what anyone else says about it okay um it's your your choice to make okay okay thank you Aries. i hope that was um i hope i think i went around the houses there but i really hope that that was um agreeable and i hope that you <laughs> i've been watching too much um on May's tell i hope that was agreeable for you and um hope you liked it if you want a personal reading um, i've put up a little video about ordering your personal reading it'll come something like this um i can send you the details through if you want to request um email below thank you so much for all your love support um comments email, everything um everyone needs booked personal readings with me i love it thank you so much have a wonderful couple of weeks and i'll see you next week for your july love reading thank you aries bye